Hey, this is Joe getting back to uh, Clement there. Um, first of all, thanks for the very thoughtful video. Um, said a lot of stuff in there that you may be surprised that I agree with. Um, and the thing about jumping in in the middle is, you know, that's what I did. I jumped in in the middle. That's how I got to this point on this, you know, on this particular thing. Um, I just want to make a couple of points and just to make sure that that they're understood because maybe the way I maybe the way I made that video and they wouldn't be understood what with regard to the currency system collapse and a lot of the rationale for you know why the currency system is going to collapse I mean to me you know the meaning of the word collapse is is basically like a hyperinflationary run like you know something that's that's happened in those countries that usually we use for the model which would be um, Zimbabwe or Weimar Germany, <clears throat> in which case the currency collapsed, but they were using paper currency, so <clears throat> and there was very little management of it during the crisis. Um, and and the points that I tried to make was that you can't really equate, you know, we the United States with any of those countries for just for the simple reason of, of that. First of all, in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the in the global economy. Uh, ever since Bretton Woods, we require the settling of uh, <coughs> excuse me, current account balances in our currency, okay? That is to say, nominate, nominated in dollars. And, there is, and because of that, a lot of countries have to have dollars. And the way they have dollars is, um, you know, in order for them to have them, you know, we have to create them and we have to spend them. <coughs> and so to some degree, the largesse of America serves the needs of those countries to have dollars. But for those, you know, that don't, that get their money, you know, other ways, they'd invest in our treasury securities, they're holding our treasury securities because they are dollar denominated government issued, you know, you know units. But that's one reason why the growth in the money supply in this country has to happen on an ongoing basis, okay? Then the other is under the debt money system, under the fractional reserve money, debt money system, we need to produce reserves. And the things that serve as reserves are cash, are currency and, and, and treasuries almost exclusively, almost exclusively. So we can't grow the money system without having, without having more debts issued, okay? And so in that sense, you know, the, what does issuing more debt portend is not necessarily what it would be in any other country or in in any you know in any other system so now having said those things to try to make them clear one of the things that's happened through all the dialogue that's that's happened on this origin from this original video is you know i've come to point out to people that i'm not defending you know anything that's going on in this country okay you know to me everything that's going on in this country is wrong you know our largesse and our, you know, excess and, you know, and all of that stuff is wrong. And we are going to pay the price. You know, you mentioned, you know, a number of things with regard to uh, the global economy and our national economy that portend a lowering of our standard of living, <coughs> which is something I agree with. And we will lower us. Our, our standard of living will be lowered for us, if you will, okay? And that, that, to me, that's nothing to do with the currency collapse, nothing at all. Okay, so so um, having said that, you know the other thing that I point I've tried to point out to people is I, I'm not a supporter of the Federal Reserve banking system. Okay, I'm not a supporter of fractional reserve banking. I'm not a supporter of debt money. In fact, I am an anti-debt money monetary reformer. You know that's kind of why I got into that discussion in the first place because of the problems of debt money. And. Um, I am going to use this because it's kind of funny, this thing about YouTube not being able to um, put, you know, put links and stuff in there. But I'm going to, I'm going to put this address out here, http colon slash slash blip dot tv slash file slash, this is the main thing you need to know, 4111596. And that's uh, the first part of Dr. Bernard Semps. The German economist, uh, Professor Emeritus at the University of Berlin School of Economics, who's done the world a great service very recently within the last year, within this past year, 
by showing the impossibility of the debt money system of fractional reserve banking. Okay. Uh, why is why am I saying that? Why is that important? Because that's the system that's going to collapse. Okay, it's not the currency that's going to collapse. It's the debt money system of fractional reserve banking. That's what's going to collapse. Okay, it's going to collapse because it deserves to collapse. It's going to collapse because it's a house of cards. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's an unsustainable, parasitic, non-functioning system of money. Okay. So that's what's going to collapse. <coughs> and we need to have a system to replace it. <coughs> um, then I guess I'm going to just, just jump really quick into a couple of the comments that you made. Okay. First, first one had to do with, yeah, the money is being expanded now, you know, Q, this QE stuff, and, um, and uh, but it's not doing it good. It's not doing any good. You know, it's not, it's not giving us any jobs. It's not giving us any benefit in the wealth. It's not giving us anything. And so, therefore, we're just increasing the money supply, but we're not increasing the wealth of the people. We're not increasing our, our well-being. So, therefore, that's one of the things that's going to, that's going to, you know, kind of contribute to our downfall. Well, I agree with that, okay? But again, it's because it's the debt, debt money system. Because it, it, because we live under the debt money system, Brent, Brent Bernanke has no tools left in his toolbox. Everything that he's doing these days, and, and I just saw there was another thing this morning about, uh, about you know, a new Fed initiative. Um, <coughs> it's all self-preservation. It's all about circling the wagons around the debt money system. Do what you can to... You know, to keep it in place as long as we possibly can, and uh, nobody's really working on the alternative to the debt money system. Now, <coughs> the Austrians, I get a little inkling of Austrian in your in your commentary, but the Austrians, you know, say, oh, the the fractional reserve banking system is the problem because of the uh, imperfect contract. You know, the fact that two people have the claim on money in a, in a, in a, in a demand deposit, uh, the person who who, 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 whose account it is, and the bank can use it as a as a basis for making a bunch of loans, and you know that's that's true. And by the way, fractional reserve banking has to go. That's part of the reason why it has to go. But what do you replace it with? Now the Austrians believe in full reserve banking, as do we. Okay, we believe in full reserve banking. But at that point, the Austrians say, you know, well, we don't actually. You 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 know, you made a point to agree with me about an expanding economy, and by that I mean expanding by population and or productivity and or whatever metric it is. You need to have money to exchange uh, the expanded goods and services, uh, or, you know, that are produced or consumed, no matter what they are, no matter what they are, no matter where they come from. You need to have more means of exchange in order to maintain general price stability. Okay. And the Austrians say no. The Austrians say no. Let's go back to gold. Let's go back to the gold standard, and then let's go uh, basically into a deflationary uh, mode, where we just increase the uh, money supply by the amount of gold, which is one percent a year globally. You know, and then you know if the economy is expanded by two or three or four percent, we're going to have two or three, or one or two or three percent <coughs> of deflation, the price deflation. And for some reason, they, they like to make that sound like a really good thing. Um, but anyway, the, the point the point is that is that we need to have more. We do need to have more money in order to have price stability in a growing economy. And when I say a growing economy, you know, measured how you know GDP being a measure, but that's not the me the whole measure for sure. Um, <clears throat> and so, I'm an advocate of re reforming the money system. And basically getting the private bankers out of the creation of the nation's money, having the government taken over the issuance of the nation's money in a way that legally, by statute, holds the body responsible for ensuring lack of inflation, lack of deflation. All of that is contained in Dennis Kucinich, Congressman Dennis Kucinich's bill that he introduced into the Congress last year <coughs> called the NEED Act of uh, 2010. Um, and uh, and it does an excellent job of, of uh, stating why. Um, <clears throat> also, is uh, the work of uh, Dr. Kaoru, K A O R U Yamaguchi, who has modeled <clears throat> basically the the essence of the Kusinich bill, and found that it's a means for all monetarily sovereign governments, only monetarily sovereign governments, 
to use debt-free money issuance by the government as a means of eliminating government debt and achieving GDP potential. And by the way, <clears throat> when you were talking about, yeah, but how much can the economy grow in this country because we've lacked such and such and such and such? Well, it doesn't matter how much. There is the potential for GDP. Okay, there's the potential for growth. Whatever that is, given our natural resources, given what, given whatever we can do, however we can parlay that into uh, potential GDP, that that's what we need the means of exchange to provide for. You have the means of exchange to provide for the exchange of product, okay, gross domestic product, okay, in the in the national economy, and that's what a national currency, that's what a national monetary system. Which the currency is the, the, not the denomination of the uh, of the, model, the national monetary system uh, is supposed to do. So anyway, that's my reply. I hope that uh, keep it up.